actress, comedian, author, host, and self-proclaimed hat girl, Dee Dee Sorvino, who each show serves up an hour of good times and great conversation. Food, culture, fashion, current events, history, or just good gossip, grab a cocktail and take a seat as Dee Dee shares stories, talks with friends, and makes you wish you could keep the bar tab open all night. Where there's a party, there's Dee Dee, and you are invited. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Drinks with Dee Dee. Here's your host, Dee Dee Sorvino. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, am I still on? Hello, hello, yeah. McFly, yeah. McFly. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like lots. Do you see me? <laughs> Yes. 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 You're there. Oh my God! What is the deal here? Welcome everybody to Drinks with Dee Dee. It's been one of those pre-shows. You know, we have a party here at Drinks with Dee Dee, and we always have one before and after. You all don't see any of that, but we actually do. We, you know, we all actually like each other, except for maybe Michael. <laughs> Just kind of bring him along. You know, you know. But even famous people kind of feel sorry for him because you know we. Kind of beat up on him, but he likes it. So, welcome everyone to Drinks good with Dee. It, yeah, it's all good fun. You know, you I was always say to... Michael's not even the token liberal here, so it's like, why are we beating up on Michael? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why yeah. that always happens, but he's just kind of always that guy. I mean, because we can't beat up on Father Kurt and the rest are lovely ladies, so Michael's <laughs> going to get it. I swung over. Yeah. I took it to the borderline. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always have a fun time here. Even if it's like serious topics, we end up making fun of it or laughing about it or whatever. But today is fun. Today is crazy fun. Uh, and, you know, I just want to thank all of you who listen and watch because we really enjoy doing this. I mean, podcasts are a, a podcast, it, kind of an interesting thing. I don't know about you all, but I feel like it, it's a it, it's just grown and grown and grown where a lot of other mediums have kind of died or have gotten smaller, but not podcasts. They're on fire. So, you know, we enjoy it. And, you know, we like to have a lot of regulars. And many times we bring in new people. Sometimes they come back. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we, we always uh, try to uh, bring along, you know, we, we have a theme and sometimes we stay on it for five minutes. Sometimes we stay on that topic the entire hour, that's rare, but we're always shaking it up. So uh, I would like to start with my drink and the theme of the show, and then we'll do a round robin. I can't say circle back. I think you all know why. I will not say we're going to circle back. Nope, not happening. <laughs> we're, we're doing the Brady Bunch squares. We're not circling anything. But I'm having Winfred Reserve, which my pal, Michael, even though I give him a hard time, you know, we are we we are Kentucky I guess cousins, I'm sure, you know, in Kentucky, you always make fun of it. We're all related. So I'm sure I'm related to Michael. That's why I can give him a hard time. <laughs> and, uh, and, and actually, yeah. and actually, yeah, that's right. And actually, we did a movie together recently, and we've got other things going on where I play a sister. So that's kind of fun. And that, boy, that wasn't hard, was it? Give it big sister, giving him a hard time. Oh my but having, gosh, we really I, embraced that, huh? That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> that was I a fun you? time. I, I I was thinking about telling all our listeners, but we got uh, the king of outlaw Texas country music. He allowed us to use his music for the movie. So and who is that? Who is that? Tell everybody. It's Dale Watson. Awesome. If you haven't heard of Dale Watson, you'll want to look huge. him up because he is great. Yeah, before Paul died, before Paul died, for those of you who are maybe just tuning in for the first time, uh, my late husband, the late great Paul Servino, just thought Michael and I, I don't know, I, you know, he, they just, he just, they just kind of thought we had a good connect and he, he thought we'd work well together. So he, before he died, he said, I really think you all should work together on a lot of projects. And that means all of us, of course, because, you know, Michael put together Flipmo, which by the way, popped up in my IMBD today. Current, did you notice that? Did it pop up on your IBD, like being finished or something? What was it, Michael? Flip mode. Why did it pop up on my IMBD? I don't know. I really I did truly today. don't. But you're a superstar on there. The you're bringing you're bringing our star meters up. No, you know my I'm star pass, meter is no good. I didn't you I'm know look. Pass Brad Pitt because of you. Yeah, right. Let me tell you something. 
the, okay, in social media and star meters, you know, all these actors, they work the system, and I do nothing. Zip, zero. <laughs> I don't do anything. Father, Father Kurtz already passed Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet he has. But there's a system I've, in doing I've done that. I've more work than he's done recently. So. <laughs> but there, there's a system to doing that. Like you get people to follow you or there are pages that says, hey, open my page and look at it for 60 seconds. But these are people I don't know. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I don't yeah. feel comfortable working the system that way. I'd rather just be organic. And if you don't like my star meter number, I don't care. But all I know is I've been in like all kinds of things and people have star meter numbers that are bigger than mine and they've been in one thing. So I'm not sure the system really is accurate, but that's okay. All as well. But enough of that. So today, we're going to talk about what we're drinking. Then we're going to talk about the Royals because it's just blowing up. Kate and William, the Royals, are in Boston in Sue Ann's hometown. And she's what? probably following them around, paparazzi. <laughs> so how much fun is that? And I miss Boston, by the way. I mean, and then Megan and Harry, of course, they can't be shown up and they have to drop like a trailer. I mean... Everyone knows that that was not a coincidence. No. Obviously, they dropped their trailer, you know, because they're not going to be, well, we can't let William and Kate look better. Well, good luck with changing mm. that, <laughs> you know, but everybody's mm. got their opinions, you know, and it's funny how if you're kind of left of the system and right of the system. It's funny how everybody falls. I just think the royal thing is fascinating. But let, let, let's let's get the drinks out of the way. So again, I'm having Winford Reserve. Obviously, Michael is too. My brother, which is why I give him a hard time. He's my Kentucky brother. Because <laughs> we're all related in Kentucky. I can't uh, wait for the movie to be out. And all I know, it's going to be great. It. It's going to be great. So Jennifer, how about you? What are you having, girl? Well, you always make fun of me. So I figured I'd give you a good thing. Maybe I've seen this in the grocery store. <laughs> oh, like rest rest on yummy. <laughs> So I got oh. peppermint bark rum chata <laughs> to try for today because it's the first day of December. And you think I'm not yes. making fun of that? What is that? Well, I figured you were, so I figured I'd give you something good to look at to do it. Okay, now what is that again? It's rum chata and it's peppermint bark flavored. So it's a really I love, sweet. I love oh, I'm going to get that. I'm just so, glad you're drinking and not me because I would too. really Ew. get it if so I came sweet. on with that. No, I don't, I don't like anything like that. But it is a very pretty bottle. And I love it, Jennifer, because you're always creative. So I'm really not making fun of you. I'm, I'm having fun with you. So, okay. So, Kurt, how are you? What, what are you having, Father Kurt? And good luck. And congratulations all in one bundle. Yes. Because you're like, how many degrees do you have now? <laughs> well, I, I am going to Nashville next week uh, to get what's called the MIX certificate, which stands for Mental Health and Integrated Chaplaincy Services from Vanderbilt. Uh, I'm working on a doctorate there, and this is the two thirds point and the professional certification point of that. Degree. Oh, does that mean you're good at dealing with crazy people? Is that why you're so loved on this show? That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm doing all sorts of case studies. Dealing with all the crazy all people. <laughs> well, congratulations yeah. too. That's wonderful. But but yeah, I'm I'm actually going to a Galaxy Con, uh, like Comic Con convention thing in Columbus, Ohio tomorrow, and uh, I'm I may be acting on a skit with Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum uh, from Smallville while I'm there. And oh, that's I'm, great. I'm at the very least getting my picture taken with Kermit the Frog. So, awesome. so yeah. I'll be jealous. So yeah, you, but, your star meter's climbing. Yeah, but what's really <laughs> going to get your star meter going is if you show up in Carmel at Dee Dee Servino's uh, big show at Carmichael's, which Michael might come. I hope you all come. I mean, we'll see what's up with that. I'm so going. don't forget. I have Sue Ann's coming. Woo! Sue Ann's coming. Yeah, yeah. Sue Ann's oh, coming. Nice. All right. Yeah. Very good. That's well, you know, we'll probably have to have a show about that to plan out the show. How about that? I might need a plan. Yeah, I don't know if we want any recordings of our escapades together, Dee Dee. Because, well, we maybe know. you never know. It, well, because it's always fun. So, so either way, way. you don't want it in the wrong hands. Well, yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, Squid, remember ye old oyster house. Oh my God, man! Our escapades—you know—I could lose my security clearance. <laughs> well, Kurt, Father Kurt's not going to be a bishop, so join yeah, the club. I mean, Nobody feels sorry for you. Uh, <laughs> Sue Ann will never be a bishop either. So there you go. All right, right. <laughs> so Stephanie, it looks like you're having your good old red wine. Yeah, it is a Cabernet Franc from Lake County, uh, California. 
steel vineyards and it is good. Yeah. It's That's expensive. right by me. Yeah. Not to chip my chuck. It's 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 uh, it was about twenty five dollars. Mm-hmm. Good. You um, can like you know you can get a good one for twenty five bucks. This yeah. is this is a it's the Cabernet and Cabernet Sauvignon. Even my husband likes it. Mm-hmm. And he won't drink anything else but Cabernet Sauvignon. But I so, thought Rudy was the one who got two buck chuck. I'm not sure I believe that. Isn't he the one to buy two buck chuck? That was that was high school. Here's five bucks. Big sister, please get us something to drink. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. Partying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. When I did that to my brother, he would bring home uh, Andre pink champagne. Be careful. I've never even heard that. of that. Yeah. You I, have, have, I have. I no. have. It's horrible. It oh. is. It is. It's it's rock gut. It's you do not ask anybody to buy alcohol for you because they will do what my brother did to us. So yeah, they don't okay. care. That lesson. We're just like you buy the cheapest you find. Okay, you want the cheapest? Here it is, kid. Mm. You can already <laughs> tell the There's name like Andre. It's like so, Andre. 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 Yeah, and Andre's based in Jersey, so you know it's yeah. not going to be any good. Hey, Jersey Andre! <laughs> if you don't pay up, Jersey Andre's coming with the. So Sue, Sue Ann, <laughs> you know what is? Don't you usually have the red wine on the show? I used to, but I discovered gin and tonic with Bombay. Which is great. Is, is that what you're yeah. having today? That is what I'm having today. Yeah. That's what that's that in a pewter cup. Yeah. Is that it's a pewter cup? cup? It's pewter that is- and it has Air, Air Force logos on Air Force it. logo. Aim oh, high. Cool. Air Force. I got yeah. one of those cups. They're really yeah. great. They're really and you're great. Not a pewter. So everything stays nice and cold. It's great. Yeah, my, my I love an pewter. Air Force veteran. So, so yeah, I, I, I approve. Yeah. Thanks. Gin and tonic Bombay Sapphire is my go-to gin. Bombay Sapphire. This, this one is a Bombay Silver. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it is delish. So where's your Bombay today, Kurt? Well, actually, I'm doing Oliver Winery Wine. That's a local winery here in just outside of Bloomington, Indiana. Yeah, for sure. And okay. they're also actually our communion wine at my old church. So I did. Our in God is an awesome <laughs> God. He lives in heaven above. That's okay. all I know. Our God is an awesome God. Is, oh, oh. The, the Catholic um, girl in me is cringing right now. No, I don't oh, like oh, that. Oh. Look, for me, I, you know, I. The Six Flags Over Jesus thing, I can't hardly do because, you know what, they have the trombones and they have the dancers and the caracas and whatever the hell they do, fan dancers, you know, but they do that in the Six Flags Over Jesus churches that are like in a gym. Yeah. That's what they do. And if if that makes you happy, that's fine. It doesn't make me happy. And I'm like, if I have to get up in the morning, I want it to be beautiful and kind of solemn and, you know, whatever. I I love a confession after just to make sure, you know. But the confession people go on Saturday, right? You know, that's another show. Other Kurt. <laughs> you know, kind of go, kind of go. In the- if you're <laughs> if you're going to confession at my church, they do have it on Saturdays, but yeah. Sundays is a no so is a no go. Yeah. Sundays yeah. is mass and that's it. And if they play anything after 1900, I get upset. Yeah. And I'm with you. I don't the, like it. The music director the thing just starts laughing and goes. I didn't have a choice this week. <laughs> yeah, Anglicans like, tend to be very traditional too, and of course, I, I'm I'm from the Anglican tradition. We allow confession, but we don't require it. And the the mm-hmm. old idea, getting back to our royal theme, Elizabeth yeah. the first said about confession: "None must, all may, but some certainly should." <laughs> wow! Yeah. Oh, so you, so you I, get I'm the available. Option. I'm available for confession from any of you anytime. Oh, oh, thanks. Oh, Be careful great. what you wish for. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I'll write it down and I'll I'll change the names to protect the guilty, but I'll 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 I'll, I'll use it to become more producer credits on IMDb. Yeah, unless we do it on air, which why not on here? You know, we oh, you know, we we all know each other so well. We can have our confessions on air. But I am not <laughs> a Catholic. So I don't con- I don't confess. I don't I don't believe in it. I'm sorry, Father Kurt. I adore you, but I I wasn't raised that way, so I don't. I don't. I I have a hard time, and when I go, I feel better. It is kind of like it's not necessarily saying you're a bad person. 
it's there's if there's something bothering you 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 have it and and yeah, you but that's part therapy. Of it. That's therapy. It, yeah, it's, for some yeah, it has a therapeutic effect. Yeah. yeah, for some it has a therapeutic effect. But and that's okay yeah. if that helped you. But out. I hate but... going because it's like I know he knows what I did. I know he knows what I did. I know he wants to hear me say it. But if I say it, then I have to acknowledge it. And if I have to acknowledge it, then then I have to admit I suck. And that really sucks. Well, speaking of sucking. But that's like the circle, right? (laughs) But then you walk away and you feel better for about (laughs) a month. Speaking of sucking, let's talk about the uh, show topic today, Megan Markle. (laughs) And (laughs) Sherry. And so anyway, we're talking about the Royals here. And, you know, we've touched upon the Royals before, but now it's on. So the queen died. So I, it, you look, everything changed. I know just, that much. Us, yeah. For our <laughs> listeners out there, the the my mid- speed, that's about yeah. where I'm cut off. I thought and Megan the, and Harry the- quit. So like, what is it? Well, that oh, was a long the- time ago and it really yeah. never happened, did it? They said they wanted their privacy to come to the United States. And then it goes on and on and on and on. So clearly, and, and I don't feel bad. And then they got feel- their privacy and didn't like it. I, I guess. Uh, and it is on. I mean, this is crazy stuff. I mean, even I wouldn't have predicted this because I'm thinking, oh, you know, this is going to go down the rabbit hole. But it is going way down the rabbit hole because you've got Kate and William in the United States and Boston, you know, and they are very dignified They're, you know, because I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a good host here and not like show where, you know, where, you know, where I stand on this. <laughs> But William and Kate, you know, they do try to be very dignified. They try to do the traditional job of being royals. That is that is that is their goal, clearly. And Meghan and Harry, I almost at this point I'm confused of what they want. Because first they went in privacy. Then now they they always talk about the royals, but they don't want to be royal, but they, they want to be royal for the money or they want to be the royals for the protection. And I'm just asking you all to sort it out for me. And what do you think? Do you think William and Kate is winning the battle of Team William and Kate or Team Meghan and Harry? And it's not me pitting against each other. They are doing it. This is on. So yep. what do you all think? It's a big free-for-all. I want to know what you all think. All right. Can I go first? Sure. All right. First off, Meghan Markle is a gold digger. All right. I'm going to be honest. Harry is a. You always open strong. I love it. <laughs> it's, Harry is literally the biggest beta male I have ever seen in my life. Anything she does, he does it. And I think that she's got the psychological hold over him where she's trying to pretend to be like Diana. And he's obsessed with his mother. And that, you know, she died young, tragically. And that was traumatic. And I think she's taking advantage of it. I'm on team Will and Kate. Okay. Uh, Kate is a very uh, classy girl. Okay. She's a a lady. I look at Megan and go, oh my God, where did you come from? I just, and Harry, he had a really nice girl he was seeing from South Africa that he totally just ran over to get to this creature and I'm like they're doing it for the money they're and I think Harry actually thinks he can take down the royal family but do you think he wants to do that you think he wants to take down the royal family I mean I'm just asking I don't know anymore I I don't know don't know sorry I don't know I mean not Um, that I ever thought I knew but now I think it's gone to the next level of like what the heck it has well I've gotten the feeling that what what Harry wants as opposed to what Harry and Meghan wants. I think there's a difference between those two things. I think what Harry wants is he wants the benefits of the royal family without the responsibilities and the obligations. I think what Meghan wants is fame on her own terms. And that's Mm -hmm. why it has to be separate from the royals because she doesn't want the restrictions and obligations that are imposed on there. She doesn't want privacy. She wants fame that's why they ran to Hollywood and did Oprah and everything else. You don't do that if you're trying to stay away from cameras. Uh, yeah. She she wants the cameras yeah. to follow her, but she wants it on her terms. I was going to say that I think it's crazy that she was like 
doing auditions in Hollywood and being like, oh, hope I get a call back. And then she gets on a show. And then all of a sudden, you're a princess in England. <laughs> yeah. And then you call up those casting directors and you're like, hey, remember me? Go F yourself. <laughs> No, yeah. they would they would lobby. You know, they would go to parties. I mean, yeah, that's mm-hmm. well known. They go to parties and they're lobbying for jobs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. she is I mean, lobbying she, for jobs. She was yeah. trying to use her status as a princess to get roles and positions in Hollywood her star beyond meter. her talent level. And oh, God, a star her, meter. Her, yeah. Star meter. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah, check her star, star meter while meter. we're on yeah, this topic. Yeah, she, she really. Oh, was. I'm sure her number's very big. I'm sure she has people working in that day in and day out. Yeah, you know, I, I I think of I think of her and I think of Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly. Oh, please. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm contrasting them. I'm, okay. Uh, see, Grace Kelly was a star. She retreated from the Hollywood scene when she became a princess. Yes. And she took that role seriously. That is not what yeah. Meghan Markle did. And she yeah. was a real star. I mean, no offense, she but was. I've never seen she Suits. Was. Yeah. I've never seen okay. Suits. I. I, I and she was overacting, and I did not actually enjoy her time on Suits. I didn't think she fit in. Well, Grace Kelly was a real star. She was a movie she was. star. She, she was. was a gorgeous beauty, movie star for real. And then she gave that up to take on the role as, you know, a royal. Oh, yeah. Where- well, was her star meter 1,248? <laughs> and did she play what? Jamie in Horrible Bosses? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, Jennifer, like- Jennifer, you're a lawyer and probably <laughs> soon to be a judge. What do you think? Um, I think that there's a huge contrast between the two of the two sets because um, Kate and William are trying to do what's best for the monarchy and trying to bring it forward, but they're also constrained by a lot of the things related to the monarchy. And it is a very old institution, but Megan and Harry, I just, they've just been all over the place and their optics are not good. And that's one of the good things about the Royal Machine is you got a lot of people over there trying to protect you and make sure that what comes out is what you a need. A lot of rules. Mm. That's a good point. The, the, the Royals they have, ru- the, they, the Royals have rules. Mm. And you make a good point where Meghan and Harry, I mean, do you all think that they're just trying to throw everything against the wall to see what sticks? Do you think it's a true blue plan or they're just trying to make money? I mean, what in the world are they doing? I think they had a plan at the start that didn't come together. So now they're floundering. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, they, 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 they thought that they could do this whole branding. They had this, they had a logo and everything. It was called Sussex Royal that they were going to brand themselves with. And then they found out they weren't allowed to use the word royal legally <laughs> if he was not part of the royal family. And it's like, uh-oh, we've got to redo everything. Uh, but but yeah, they 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 keep rubbing everyone in the firm. That's what they, they call the, the Buckingham Palace and the institution is the firm. That it's not just the king. It's not just the, the, the royals themselves. There's this whole civil service network around them some of whom have been there longer than Prince Harry and Prince William have been alive. Oh, of course. And, and they and they know how things operate and need to be to keep the institution from collapsing or fading into a problem area because Charles, King Charles, now has to reestablish himself as a legitimate figure. Elizabeth had that. She she Queen Elizabeth had that uh, for for all of mm-hmm. her life. And now, Charles, who is he? We're still trying to figure out who he is. So for Harry and Meghan to be running around creating issues on the side really isn't helping the firm. It really know. isn't helping the institution. Well, and then the 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 world that got kicked out because she said something racist, this just happened like today. Oh, the godmother got, she, re, she resigned, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the godmother. Yeah. Because obviously they're all hypersensitive about that. And, you know, and that's the, Megan is using the race card and, it, you know, and uh, obviously William and Kate are like, oh, my gosh, you know, and Charles, you know, they're like, we're not racist mm-hmm. saying this. But then, you know, you have the history of 
the British Empire. Mm -hmm. You know, as I try to like look at everything, you know where I'm going here, Kurt. There have been issues. Oh yes, yeah, and 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 uh, the the British have a very not dark, so good of a history, yeah, right? A, yeah, very, a very dark track record with regards to being open to other cultures and open pe uh, other peoples. Uh, th th there was always a sense of superiority that comes with the colonial uh, 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 part of the the empire, and we're we're still only like a generation or two mm -hmm. away from that. So we have people who in their living memory were part of an oppressed underclass of the British. And the key symbol of that was the crown. Right. And it, because it is a reality with the British, it just is. Because in America, look, I mean, we fought against that. And then we did it again in the Civil War. And, you know, my Scott-Irish roots were like, look, we're not for that. We, we don't believe that. We don't understand, you know, what, what, the, what the deal is. Right. Exactly. So, but the British, you know, they're sorry, but, you know, they, they, they hung on to that for a long time in Africa and India and the islands. Yeah, and, and, guess, what it is. and guess what? You beat us in soccer. No one cares. We like football. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tom Brady's so, playing play in your country. Football. Why? Because so football is awesome. <laughs> Well, I don't believe in the reparations thing, you know, it's like, well, I have to pay reparations to someone. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I think that can go a little bit too far and it has recently, but you cannot, the, the problem is they're royalty and they are the monarchy and they're the ones who do this stuff. Americans, we don't believe in this. We don't do this stuff. Back, you know, before the Civil War in the South, they would use slaves, that sort of thing. But the monarchy, they, they, they for a very, very, very long time, have had colonies. I mean, and what happened oh, in colonies is they're like yeah. second-rate citizen, and they're working in the sugar fields, and they're where uh, it's a mess. So, and I learned recently that they don't pay any taxes. They pay who? no taxes. Oh, the royals. Yeah, the royals. No. Well, I mean, you know, I, I you know, I don't, I, I don't want to take up all, all the time, but I've never believed in the monarchy. I'd go on Fox News with Stu Varney, and he'd get mad at me, and what? he said, "No, I know, I understand it, I really do, but I'm glad I'm an American because if I was British, I couldn't defend it because it's just it's, it's rich it's welfare. Yeah. It's just welfare. It's I don't like it. Well, you could Brexit yeah. out now. It's one of those <laughs> things where um, you're like, look. We love, Americans respected the queen. No, we she fought died. against that. We, yeah, well, no, no, no. But I'm going back to 17, so, you know, I'm oh, going I'm, back I'm in not. the day. But this is, no. this is how I address the present British kind of thing. The queen was a great woman. She was actually a great, I think, female role model. However, we don't have a queen here for a, perp for a reason. We don't need that. No, we kicked out King George. We said, screw you, King George. We're, we're, we're a republic. We are a republic. This is not a monarchy. That is the no. United States of America. So now we absolutely rebelled. Right, Sue Ann? When we yeah, were in Boston, we, yeah, you know, we did the trail, you know, the Paul Revere yeah. thing, the whole thing. That's why I love, love, love Boston. And I like, and I think it's just funny in a way, you know, that, that Kate and William are there because of all the places when we kick the British ass, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I love them. I think they're great. But it, you know, at the very least, we can all agree it's so convoluted. And there are layers upon layers upon layers. I I think there's one aspect of the royal family and the royal institution that I I like that I wish we could have in some way here in the states, and that is to have a non-political head of state, because there there we we have troublesome presidents now and before. Uh, mm -hmm. And would it be uh, helpful in some way to have a nonpartisan, non-political figure who the entire country or most of the country could could see as symbolic? It doesn't have to be hereditary. There are lots of places that have well, an, an yeah. elected or appointed uh, president apart from the prime minister. But I know a lot of people who would rather not see Biden as the head of state representing America. I know a lot of people who didn't want Trump as the head of state representing America. That, yeah, that but how do you do that, Kurt, if it's not hereditary? Because I know, I know, for one, I don't believe in the monarchy. But I mean, well, I please. enjoy watching it. I do. I am fascinated by it. But, I, you know, for me, I'm just, I don't, I don't understand that. Blue blood, red blood, I don't believe that. 
Well, in yeah. some countries like Iceland and Israel, you have a, a separate presidency from the, 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 the head of government is different from the head of state, but it's mm -hmm. not a royal position. It's either- But how does that work? But it's either elected or appointed in some way that is that is more akin to what our Supreme Court used to be. Our Supreme Court appointments right. used to be much less partisan than they are today. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, so so that would be something. It's not a perfect system, and I don't have it fully envisioned. But that is the one thing that I do like about the 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 institution of the royals is that you can have that separation of government from the sort of state symbolic. But what I don't like okay. is that they have billions and billions and billions of taxpayer dollars just messing around. I'm like, why should they get that? I don't understand that. And well, I don't I believe in it. One of the things that's coming out with Charles becoming king is just how much money he had as mm -hmm. Prince of Wales and, and Duke of Cornwall and how much has gone mm -hmm. now to William because he's now the Prince of Wales and Duke of Cornwall. And we remember, I remember, Prince Philip complaining that they weren't getting enough support from the government, and now it turns out they were sitting on multi-billion dollar assets. No, crazy uh, money. And, and, and yeah, yeah. And, and it's sort of like that one of the reasons, one of the justifications for not charging them taxes was because, well, they were getting money from the government. So why are you just, just exactly money? They're just uh, getting straight out handouts. Yeah, but uh, so 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 there's a lot that needs to be examined right now. There's not the political will to do it because we've just come past the uh, sort of prime minister du jour. Oh <laughs> my gosh! In, in, and then and then, and then there's that. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, uh, it's it, it's amazing that Liz Truss, for all of the 45 days that she was in uh, office, she's now the the uh, shortest uh, term serving prime minister in British history. Her her prime ministership still spanned two monarchies <laughs> oh my that's funny yeah it so is. kurt said that he he kind of favors the monarchy or or at least he think there's uh, there, some good things about it do, do any of you, the rest of you what do you, do you think do you like the monarchy i mean i'm just a flat out no but what do you all think i know well, in I australia they do because if they ever get locked up in votes the queen decides or king and then, sorry, that's all I wanted. Yeah, but aren't they part of the? Aren't they part of the whole? They're part of the Commonwealth. The, right. They're part of the Commonwealth, and and yeah. the the thus far the the king or queen of, in the United Kingdom is also their head of state. Right. That may change as as Charles becomes less and less popular. Which I expect to happen. I do too. I do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think I, William and Kate are very popular. I mean, you know. They were smart they would have gone right to them in my opinion but you know charles is like i've been waiting for this forever so you can't blame the guy <laughs> but yeah. he's not exact but he is doing better than i thought he would i thought he'd be kind of a big flop and he's okay you know he's sort of just maintaining but william and kate you know they they have their act together i mean they are cool customers i i i, I think for what they're supposed to do they they are filling the bill am i wrong what do you all think no i think you're exactly right i, I think I, you're I, right I, and, and the thing is, with Charles having been the heir for so long and having been the uh, Prince of Wales for so long, he knows exactly how to train the person following him to be in that role. No one's been in that role for as long as he has, and, and William has been intentionally groomed that way all of his life. Yeah. But I think Will, William also benefited from... Charles recognizing mistakes in his own upbringing and Charles being deliberate and not inflicting that on William, like the choice of schools. He went yeah. to, I, to I'm Eaton going College. To rub, I'm going to rub the Diana fans the wrong way, but <laughs> I honestly think Charles was a really good father because William has turned out to be a pretty upstanding young man. Mm -hmm. really I don't has. think people would think that, Stephanie, that they'd be against that. Look, I mean, I love Diana. I think I think they did a good job. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't are people, people would. would. But, with, but without many servants yeah. available to them, well, and, yeah. the names, and, and the and the teachers and the how hard could it be? And all that stuff, um, like, how much interaction did they actually have as parents, as opposed to all of this? this yeah, service? they're not they're not like the single mom in green one taking them to kidney care and picking up the chicken nuggets. Yeah, exactly. I mean they've got every well, they, they've got everything at their disposal. I mean, yeah. your relationship with your mom and dad is calling, talking, being with them, and getting that 
I think, advice that you don't get from anybody else. Yeah, but I don't think Charles was absent. Do you think people think that, Stephanie? Yes, I do. I, I, if you look at the things that Diana apologists, and I call him that for a reason, have said about him and the lies said about him, um, he, he has been, look, the, the TV show, The Crown, he has been set up to be the villain. And when you hear people that actually know what, going, what was going on then, telling what really happened, it's like, they never should have been married. There was a couple that never should have happened. Agreed. Um, they never were, yeah. really. He never gave yeah. up his old relationship. No, he didn't. And when you look at it, you kind of can't really blame him because Diana was not into it. I mean, she was... Right. Did not want to be part of it, and she went out of no, her way. No, but in the beginning, she did. She loved her husband. She, she, she I her. think she did in her own way, but she was such a kid. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, she didn't. Because she had no idea what she was getting. She into. did not. But in the yeah, beginning, right. her mm -hmm. wide-eyed and like, I'm a princess, and I'm I'm went by, you know, and and I went to have the storybook ending. I mean, and then like you know, she famously sure. said three is it's a crowded relationship or however she said it and, she and the, i i think the truth is also charles despite the fact that they weren't that separate in ages he was actually much older and more mature than she was like he was she, that she old was young for her age he was old for his age yeah so he was old at one year old he was old in a suit he's wearing a suit yeah. out of the womb mm -hmm. you know i mean you could tell that that's a good point that's a very <laughs> good Mommy, it's time for tea <laughs> different because the queen barely i mean he was still in like short pants when the queen became queen yeah and he wasn't didn't have those demands of being king when his sons were really really little so even if he didn't spend as much time as like you or i as a parent would do he was there more than he would have been had he been king then so in a way him being king now is much better than if he had been king when they were little yeah right yeah exactly exactly yeah yeah I, th I think he was a good dad i mean you know not a great husband to diana clearly because if you're going to cheat out of the box that's no good uh you know but but as a father i don't you know if people that are complaining about that i think probably probably not fair uh <laughs> he's stiff upper lip type of type of dad mm -hmm. that's what they do that's what they oh. do in England. Uh, uh, but what are all things going to happen with these two? I mean, it almost seems like a train wreck's going to happen. What in the world? <laughs> what's going? What's coming? What do you all think? Harry, Harry's got that book coming out, and I think oh. it's titled, titled "The Spare." Spare. Can you believe? Yeah. I mean, I mean, really? Okay, let's just stop at that. When I heard that, I'm like, "Are you kidding? You are. You have a book yeah. called." the spare is it spare or the spare it's just spare it's just no 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 determined not it's even the spare. he doesn't yeah. even have the spare he's just spare i mean uh, how uh, am i wrong here to think that is crazy that you would agree to a book deal to call yourself spare well what's what really bothers me about everything that they've done is if they really only wanted to step back and and a lot of what they said was that they didn't want Megan to end up like Diana and have those issues because the firm wasn't protecting them. But if you really wanted to maybe come back and have your children be called princes again when they came of age to be princes, why would you air all your dirty laundry? Mm -hmm. All your dirty laundry? Because they have a Netflix show coming after this book, don't they? Yeah, well, they do. It's really the do. trailer. Well, they, they maybe it's about bowling. You never know. It might be about bowling. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. Uh, no, nope. uh, it'll, it'll over. Well, the thing is, that, though, if you look at that, that the marketing for that book, it's not by Harry Wales or Harry Sussex. It's by Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. Uh, excuse me, I thought we weren't using that title. Anymore. Exactly. It, it's like that. Uh, again, the contradictions are right there on the cover. Yeah. Well, I wonder if since the Queen died, maybe they changed the rules. No, uh, there's no. Been no announcement to that. No, when, when no. You, Charles wouldn't do that. Charles. And Charles, Charles, on the first day, the very first day, his first announcement, 
he made the announcement that no one was expecting that William would become Prince of Wales. Everyone was expecting that to happen after the coronation and that he would become Duke of Cornwall. And, and then he just very passingly said, yes, we still love Harry. And we, he, I mean, he gave a mention to them, nothing about titles, nothing about revisions and mm -hmm. nothing officially has changed. Well, haven't I seen a lot of newspaper and magazine and articles talking about the fact that they, Meghan and Harry were trying to get in to talk to everybody, I think, to jockey for positions and to try to change things. And I think part of why that's not happening is because of the book and because of the Netflix special. No, because they don't trust them. Like, they've got, they're wired they or something. They want to see what, the, what they've done in those before they say yes to anything. <clears throat> Well, yeah, I mean, why would they? I mean, they, they have shown that they're not trustworthy. I mean, to me, I think Harry and Meghan are horrible. I mean, when, you know, the the queen died and then her husband died before that, and they're pulling all of this, and, you know, and coming from, you know, I'm a widow uh, that just dealt with death, and it's a very difficult time, and they're pulling all this crazy stuff, and it's absolutely inappropriate. I just think it's terrible. The queen it just is. died, just died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. I agree. The country is in mourning, and then he's putting out, you know, called a uh, book called Spare, and then this documentary. I mean, and ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, it just hits me the wrong way. I feel sorry for. I'm just glad. I, in a way, it's good that I guess all of this happened before the. In a way, it happened after the Queen died because I think that would have really affected her as well. That because you know she is comes from old school, total respect, regimented, following the rules, and Harry and Meghan are just out there. They're very Hollywood, which is not London, which is not London Bridges, you know, but. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I gotta it's say that. Uh, totally opposite. It is, mm -hmm. and when I look at, I'm gonna put on my historian's hat on. The, the queen, she was a teenager during World War II. She was out there showing people at where she was. And when you're looking at that, and you look at how profoundly devoted to her job she was. Oh, she was completely devoted. But don't you, th I think William and Kate is too, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. She, I think, is the one that is responsible for William, a lot of it. I really, really do. And so she's responsible also for Kate. Kate is very dignified. Kate is, you know, she's got yes. that Elizabeth sort of thing about her. Um, I love, I love Elizabeth II. Um, and I don't think someone who came from a reality show who wants to be an actress fits in any of that, any of that. I can't imagine what Queen, what Princess Anne thought. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, nice. the thing is, there, there, there's this whole streak in the royal history about devotion to duty. And I, I remember my grandmother pointing out how much this family does that. When the queen became the queen, when Queen Elizabeth became queen, she was on a, a royal tour in Kenya, and she had to fly back to England. Her mother who then became the queen mother met them at the plane and instead of running to embrace her daughter because her the, the husband her father had died the queen comes down the steps and the mother first curtsies to her that's duty that's devotion you do that yeah and, and, you, and uh, princess uh, die was nothing like that because when princess she saw her kids like after that, a trip no, like that. she would walk out the door and the arms are open she's kneeled waiting to embrace her kids and that public display of affection was not seen by anybody else in the monarchy. Yeah, but Diana was never disrespectful. Like, you know, Meghan Markle, like, do you know, where they're sure. like, no, saying absolutely. That the family is racist. I mean, they have yeah. called them racist. Yeah. And it, 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 no. it's like, well, you know, after you do that, you've kind of crossed the line. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think actually, I'm going to bring Princess Anne back. Princess Anne has never been known for someone with a, a, subtle tongue and she probably said something to megan that megan immediately jumped on because megan is emotional and doesn't have any instincts or intelligence to understand who she's talking to true well, i've been around yeah. enough actors that actors are all about themselves 
and yeah. not all you know some of us are cool you know we 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 love to do the thing but we yeah. still think about the people around us paul was like that <clears throat> you know um, many of us have had experiences in acting so you know we're cool but megan seems to me to be that type it is all about that and nothing else well all about her all about getting ahead yeah. all about being the actor all about getting the brand all about getting the attention and mm -hmm. nothing else matters and harry is just following his wife he is just yeah. you know his his mother died early on he is a lost soul now the grandmother died so this is the woman in his life and he does anything she asks and she is solely focused on her career. Maybe I'm yeah. wrong. That's so how I read it. Right. all this, it was supposed to be about service. They were supposed to be doing service and they hoped to fulfill yeah, it. Yeah, but she's not that horrible. type. Of, she's an actor. She's it's all about her. But totally opposite. Said, and instead, it's been all about making money and right. in the public eye. It's not been about the service. And being a victim and how terrible the worlds are, although they're using the name to get ahead, using their right. money to get ahead. So that's what I resent. Do one or the other. So, Look, if you want to be a whirl and yeah. do that, that's fine. But if you want to break apart, break apart and do your own thing. Don't sit the fence, you know, oh, I, and be hypocritical. That's what I don't like. Yeah. You guys I, are I, like I, this. She is, I looked up her manager or representative, and it's this guy named Ken Sunshine who owns the company. His clients include uh, convicted sex offender Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, oh boy. He's no, best no. known for representing Jesse Smollett, who oh. is criminally convicted for breaking <laughs> a crime, as well as Justin Timberlake after a wardrobe malfunction <laughs> with Janet Jackson. Oh, my wow. God. Wow, she's classy. So Flat it's not just that she's an actress. I think is who the associations are with that make you uh, wonder a little. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I do just think it's weird because, you know, the only other person who's left the family did so of, not of his own volition. The one who abdicated um, their the original king before King Edward. Edward. Ed, 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 Edward, 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 Edward. He he did that because he wanted the relationship and he was forced to leave. They weren't forced to leave. And I don't know why anybody would be forced to leave if they really wanted to provide service and they wanted to have the titles. And then there's all that money too. There's all those benefits. I, yeah, I but that's, really... I get back to the point that they're straddling the line. <clears throat> like abdicate or stay, stay or go, stay or go. Somehow they're getting away with straddling the line and Kurt how is that happening why are they getting away with that well like 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 I said they want to have all the benefits and none of the responsibilities and obligations uh the thing is when Diana passed away a lot of her actual uh personal wealth was left to Harry because she knew William would be taken care of through the firm that so mm -hmm. so so a lot of it went to so he's already a wealthy person in his own right he doesn't play that of course well why do you think uh, they act so desperate like they're doing these things like do we need money we need no money i mean don't you think that's sort of the image they put out that they, they that they're just trying to make money on their own well they they they're trying to maintain the royal lifestyle which mm -hmm. means you have to buy castles and palaces you can't live in a regular house or even in a regular beverly hills mansion you have to have the the best thing in the entire community and that's expensive to run uh, even even if you have 20 million or so in the bank that can disappear in a few years of trying to maintain this kind of lifestyle and and, uh, and and his he's not going to be making that much more now from the family if he's ducked out of it uh so they're they're trying with oprah deals and other kinds of things to make money in other ways uh but it's not it's not working out nearly the way they thought they again uh, it, it, it's it's like a war they're fighting a war and it plans is of war, and plans of war work until the first shots are fired and then all bets yes, are yes 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 Yes. But Thank what's going to happen? What do you, I mean, can this be maintained? What's going on here? For I, it just seems like the war. It's just escalating and escalating and escalating. And after uh, the Queen Mother died, it really started for real. The war. I don't think right. it was a war before. I think now people see that it's a war. 
for them to be releasing the trailer of their documentary when William, and they could have had respect for William and Kate doing their tour, you know what, they're going to be here a few days, whatever, and then release it. No, no, they're getting too much attention, so then they release the trailer. It's a competition. It is clearly a competition. Sunshine Company. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. which is why I'm like, well, let's just call it what it is. It's like you, William and Kate versus... Megan and Harry, it, that is where we are right now. And the thing is, William and Kate will win because the crown always wins. Yeah. But the crown, but the crown will be tarnished by this, and that's the problem. Well, and well I think part I, of the reason that they still haven't, they haven't been slapped on the wrist for some of the stuff that they're not supposed to be doing and not using the titles is because if the crown goes after them to uphold their agreement. Mm -hmm. There will be bad press going back on the crown again. So they're trying to walk that fine line until it's just going to be enough. Yeah, we live in a society right now where if you use the word racist, that you really can't win against that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like, so when did you stop beating your wife? Kind of question. It, it, it's it. You, all all they have to do is whisper racism, and there's enough of a history there that even if that's not what's happening now, that grabs the headlines. And that yeah, makes like, everything stop. Yeah, exactly. That's right. The, the, the fact that the whispers are that Princess Anne said something sharp, which would be in her character yes. to Megan. And Megan was like, uh, I'm half whatever. And she doesn't like me. She's a racist. It's like, no. That's all it takes. You're uncouth. <laughs> That's why she said it. Get a grip. Okay. Yeah, she would have said it regardless mm -hmm. of Megan's race because she, the yeah. Princess Anne will say that about anyone. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, she that, will. That, She'd that, say that, that about me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. e exactly. And and I mean, I I I I have met Anne. Uh, uh, I I met her nice. a couple of different times, and uh, she is a rather icy person. But that's her personality. She's also very driven and determined. One of the times I met her, I used, as as some of your listeners may know, I used to work in the British Parliament, and I used to take weekend trips to a town called Chepstow, which is on the border of England and Wales. There's a small racetrack there that, in the '80s, Anne would go and race her horses. Racetrack. Yes. But she, race she, track. She, she she would go there, and and she would go somewhat incognito. It, it, it was sort of, this was away from the paparazzi. They didn't know she did this, but some people knew this was who she was. So you're and saying I, she I, was I a racist, and, going and, to and races. So she, she, was, she was going to the races, that's true. Um, but, but, but yeah, she, 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 could, she could easily rub people the wrong way, but it, she was not doing it just to be off-putting. She, she was doing it to try to maintain herself and what she was doing. And, it, and also, I, I think people boundaries. like her are also like, you've got to be real. She mm -hmm. would put people in a real place. But like when she was about to be kidnapped. Yeah. And she was like, I bloody well not. And then fought the guy off till somebody came up and punched him in the face. <laughs> hey, she's just. I like this so, woman. She I did oh, too. You would. She's, you would. We should get her on the show. Would, yeah, maybe. Would we'll her her show. That'd be great. That'd be and great. You know what? With some, with some people, you just got to tell them off. You there's only yep. a certain number of ways to say something nicely, and then after that, it's like, all right, here I'm letting you have it now. <laughs> yeah. You've got, bound, you've got to have boundaries because if you don't have boundaries, nobody's going to give you boundaries. They're just going to keep coming in and encroaching. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've only got a couple. Yeah. We've only got a couple minutes left, so let's do our picture first, and then we'll go with our final uh, opinions. Kurt, can you help me out here? Oh yes, yeah. So everybody, get get ready for the picture. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. Tally ho! Let's go. So let's. We'll all give our opinion now. Look, I think William and Kate they win because you know it's going to be King William and Queen Kate. So in the end, they're going to win anyway, right? Charles yeah. is going to hang out for a while. They're going to win. I mean, and I just think that, and who knows, Meghan and Harry may even divorce. It's so terrible. I don't know what the heck they're doing. I, I, that's my I don't that's know. So I could see that happening, but I think William and Kate are, you know, tortoise and the hare. They're the tortoise. They're going to, you know, they're going to be steady. 
They're going to make it. They're going to be just fine. What I, Harry and I, I, Megan could have all kinds of tragic things happen or just hang out on the beach in California. But I'm team William and Kate. I think they're going to be just fine. What do you think, Jennifer? I hope that they will be just fine. I hope that there isn't some kind of weird thing where they're able to bust up the monarchy through all their weird actions and the things that they bring about. Because I, I like America and I like the way that we are, but I think the idea of a head of state, like what Kurt was saying, I like that idea for them. I think it's nice to see it almost like a museum type of yeah. throwback. So I, I would hate to see that the crown and the firm, I would hate to see that get dissolved. So I'm going to say uh, William and Kate, but I really hope Megan and Harry do are not able to blow everything up. Mm -hmm. Sue Ann? I think oh, Harry, Can I say one thing? Yeah. Chances are good that William will be king in the year 2066. Uh, chances are Charles won't last that long. Chances are that William will be mm -hmm. the... The institution of the monarchy from William the Conqueror will be a thousand years old at that point. Mm -hmm. so that yeah, I think it'll oh be sooner than later. I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, Sue right. Ann? I want to let Sue Ann? I'm definitely Team Kate and William. I think that um, if they could stay the course and just let Harry and Meghan fizzle out, just <laughs> try to get them to go away, that would be the best route. Michael? Just like Justin Timberlake in the Super Bowl. Just like that incident. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. You have been so bad on the show. You have contributed zero. Can you come oh. up with anything better than that? Justin Timberlake at the Super Bowl? What are you talking about? That's Kim oh, Sunshine. My yeah, that's that's her manager. That's uh, Megan Okay, Marshall's all right, bye. Manager. All right, step her manager. I'm team. You guys know is, what team I'm on. I know what team I, you're on. What I, what I think is... is uh, I think Kate and William will be fine. I think Harry and Meghan, because I think there's going to come, come to a point where Harry's going to realize he's been used and abused. And so um, and now that's a big question, is it, isn't it? Will he ever go back? I'd love it if he went back to England and said, I'm done with this, I'm out. I, I, think, but, I think he's given up so much of who he is from his title to his hunting rifles because Megan, I just can't do that. I mean, oh, oh gosh, God. yeah, no. So, I well, you can't do that to a man, you mm -hmm. can't do that to a man. Well, he made the decision, we'll, 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 we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. Yeah, yeah. And we she's not let so him hunt I think anymore. The big D is coming there. She's very liberal. What do you think? Oh, wow, from California. What do you think? You see any oh, hunters no. and wow. yell, them? There and, are, and, and the royal family has a tradition of hunting, and, and right. the royal family has a tradition of military Crazy service, which of. Harry obviously uh, did, and he did it very honorably. I mean, look, oil and water, we're just talking about a classic case of oil and water. We'll see where it goes. But we all have agreed that Team William and Kate will win in the end, so I guess we'll go with that. So cheers. We're out of time, folks. Cheers. Battle Royale. And you know what? And let me add this real quick. We were right about Pete Davidson, weren't we? Yeah, yes, we, were. we were. We were. Drinks with Dee Dee. All of that, by the way, our predictions are 100% right. We've never been wrong yet. So there we go. Congratulations, Cheers everybody.